Hi, welcome back to some more of my smart home tinkering. I'm playing once again with this Shelly Plus HT humidity temperature sensor. And I've got it plugged in via USB-C cable. And as you can see, it's uh, well, nearly 19 degrees Celsius, that is. And it's nice and toasty. No, not really. <laughs> but it is working. Great. Last video I did in this, it was still sitting in setup mode, and I'm actually going to reactivate it into setup mode again today. So I'll show you how easy it is to power this thing on, get it running in access point mode, connect to it with another mobile device, and then you can connect it to your main Wi-Fi network at home. And from there, that gets me closer to integrating this straight into Home Assistant. And then I'll be able to start getting a nice history of temperature and humidity readings from here. So the first thing I'll start with is I will unplug. And then I'll plug back in again. And that will basically force a restart on the device. There we are. So it's now in access point mode. So what I should start to see is here I can see another mobile device. There is the device in Wi-Fi. So I'll just connect to it. We're already connected. So it's telling me no internet connection, but that's to be expected. So what I need to do now is jump over to a browser and head to 192.168.33.11. Look at this. Already we're straight onto the device. So this is what it's showing me already. I'm actually connected to the device. I can see temperature, humidity, uh, battery. There is no battery in it because yes, it's connected via this. Now, what I would want to do is connect it onto networks. What network? I want to connect it onto a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to enable Wi-Fi find my local Wi-Fi network and put in my password. Need to put in a very, very, very long and difficult password. No, really, it is. Give me a moment. So we can see the Wi-Fi settings have changed and we can see now on the device, it has actually connected to the Wi-Fi network. So this shouldn't actually work anymore. I, there we go. So as you can see, it didn't really fall asleep. It's just that it's now connected on a different Wi-Fi network. So I'd need to go and find it. For example, in Home Assistant. Pretty easy. Well, that's it for today. Now, yes, this device is connected to my home Wi-Fi network, so I should be able to see it now in Home Assistant. And, well, let's try that out tomorrow. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.